How many people here teach balancing equations to their students? I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Glad to see that. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> iron oxide played a role in that, so I figured we could explore this a little bit more. We're going to take iron oxide and we're going to have it react. Yeah, you like that? It'll be a decomposition reaction. So it decomposes into iron and, <laughs> can't leave out that little plus there, oxygen, right? Oxygen is O2. Okay, just checking there. So there it is. Nice little equation. But, um, yeah, what do you notice about this equation, folks? It's not balanced, right? <laughs> Why isn't it? Oh, I see. Duh. I've got two iron here, only one iron here. This is an easy one. So now that I got two irons on both sides, I got a balanced equation, right? Oh. Oh. You see what's keeping it from being balanced? What is it? The oxygens. I got three oxygens. I need three oxygens on this side. Now we have ourselves, wait a second there. Come on. Now I've got a balanced equation. I balance the irons. I balance the oxygens. Everything's good to go. What happened? Oh. You see what I did? It's O2. I've got six oxygens on this side, only three here. Can I just change that to FE206? No, can't do that. I got, I know, I'll put it two out in front. This was tough, but I finally managed to get this whole thing balanced. Got oxygens balanced, got the irons balanced. Every, that's worse than it was. This is going to go on forever. No, it won't. I only have one card left. So, a balanced equation, okay? So. I know. Nothing to do with chemistry other than just kind of a fun little gag. And no, the students are not going to then expect the equations to go like this on their papers as they're trying to balance them. But, I don't know. Just a fun little diversion there.